there everyone, Joseph here, and welcome back to some more Falcon BMS. Yes, we're back here with some more Falcon. As you can see here, we've already selected our new mission. We're going to go onto a Dead Strike onto an SA-5 installation right over here. Um, it is the 218th Air Defense Battalion. It's an SA-5 launcher. We are going to be sent in to knock out this whole launcher. I don't know why SA-5s are terrible, but I guess they want to bring some B-52s to the area. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, we are, we are assigned this mission, or I picked this mission, and I've already plotted out everything. I've got uh, all the SAMs that we will be bugging through. A lot of AAA, mainly in this SA-2 and SA-3, which are going to be the big threats. Um, I've already gone through and marked every single SA-5 truck and uh, their tracking radar, I believe, is the only thing that's left on an SA-5 group. Um, have been marked from 14 up, so we are set and ready to go on that one. Uh, mission loadouts for today, we're going to run with the default loadout that the game gave us, which is... Two AIM-120 Charlies, two X-rays for the AIM-9s. We will be using a eight pair of GBU-39Bs SDBs, the, as I like to call them, the cheat bombs, as we're able to launch them from ridiculous ranges. Uh, we'll probably won't even get inside the range of that SA-3 to even be concerned about it. Uh, as well as two 37,000, or 37,000, 370-gallon tanks, drop tanks there. Uh, for that extra fuel and the extra push and of course the uh, ECM pod that is always standard it seems to be in this game uh, let's go ahead and make sure we save that a couple more times I also went ahead and um, created the uh, flight or the forward uh, essentially the DMZ zone is now marked off so I know where we are crossing over into enemy territory versus being inside friendly territory that way um, I know where I can, uh, where I feel a little bit safer. Uh, but anyways, enough yakking. Let's go ahead and jump into this All mission. Right, Real quick, let's look here and let's see what our speed is supposed to be. About 370 is our max speed at the pure IP. Um, they want us to go up to about 20,000. Uh, I'm feeling that I'm probably going to go up to 25,000, especially with the SBDs. I'm going to go up to 25,000 and then I am going to push it up to those uh, higher speeds. I believe I'm going to be rolling around about three, 330 ish. Because I think if you go above 350, it, you can't use the SDBs. I believe. I believe that's what the, the limit on them is. I'm trying to remember. I did it the other day. Anyways. <laughs> there's that. Uh, so yeah, let's we're going to go ahead and jump into the game. And I'll see you all when we get there. So stay tuned. Alright then, welcome back. Here we are in the game. So let's go ahead and get this puppy started up. Move a little quicker than yesterday. Um, you also might notice it's a bit cloudy out. Uh, I have downloaded a weather map for the week. Uh, this week, I don't know what week this is. <laughs> the week of the first, I guess. Um, the first through the tenth, because it was a ten-day um, download. So we are running in the weather that uh, Korea had on the first, I believe, or whatever day this the game decided to load up. So it looks a bit cloudy. Uh, be curious to see what it's going to look like over the front. Especially with the weather map. should be updating every five minutes, I believe, is what I have it set to. Or at least I have uh, five minute increments um, for the weather data that I downloaded. So it should be it should be interesting to see what the weather does. Alright, come on. There it goes. Because uh, for all I know, I hadn't even looked at the, uh, I didn't even look at the weather map. I hadn't looked at it, so for all I know, this could go from fair into, or um, this cloudiness into fair or into storm or whatever. It's really cool. I do like the dynamic uh, weather with the dynamic campaign. Oh, such an excellent pair. Does make uh, using TGPs a little bit of a crap storm because you can't use TGPs in the rain, or at least when it's cloudy because you can't see through the cloud layer if you're at, if you're at high altitudes. I wonder what the cloud, cloud layer is at. We'll find out, I guess. We'll start rolling up. Good thing uh, SDBs are JDAM guided, or um, inertia guided, not JDAM guided. 
as they are a type of Jade M bomblets. That one I don't want. That just shows the uh, that's the one that shows the data up there on the HUD for the DED. Which, uh, emergency situ I can see it being useful in emergency situations if you lose your DED, but you still have your HUD. Um, but we aren't running into that right now, so no need for it. These missile warnings up high. Whoops. Turn that back. Right of yard. Program 3. Do not hit that one. Get that turned on. That and we're set, good to go, Master. Whoops, run the test because I like to do that just in case. Um, brightness, and then we go load the D, uh, load the data cartridge. Data cartridge is loaded. Go to the test page, clear your warnings, and we are set. Now we just gotta wait for everything to do its bit test and the uh, INS to align. So the longest part of any uh, <laughs> jet, modern jet, is waiting for the INS to align. Now I know you can do it in the air, but it just takes longer. Um, bit test on the FCR though, that's got to be done on the ground. Go ahead and flip that on. And our warning panel should be cleared. It is. Uh, everything is set and good to go. So again, it's just a matter of waiting. Now, let's go in here and we will do this uh, right after we take off. We will power these on. And do I want to set up anything? I think I'm going to leave them as is. I could set them up to a different azimuth attack. Um, and actually, I should have checked to see if there's any mountains in the way. No, there isn't. There isn't. I don't know what I'm thinking about. There isn't because there's an airfield right there. That's what the SA-5s are near protecting the airfield. Um, so that's set. We don't have to worry about anything on the air-to-air -air for right now. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of time. Tower request QNH. Tower request QNH. Tower request QNH. I know you can hear me, voice attack. So, voice attack. I'm looking at it on my other screen. It's not picking, it's not reading. Oh, because it's on the wrong profile. <laughs> it's on my naval action. I was not playing naval action. Why did it switch? Oh, damn it. Okay. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. You sh guys should not have that big of a uh, cut there. Hopefully the recording didn't screw up on me. Um, now, since I have the right profile in, tower request Q and H. Serpent 3, Osan approach 2981. Ooh, see, the barometric, uh, 2981, the barometric pressure has changed due to the weather. So, go standby mode. Um, barometric pressure has changed due to the weather, so we had a different change on that, on our altitude in, uh, indicator there. INS is still aligning. Um,. We are going to go ahead and use the magic of time compression <laughs> to get this set up faster and to get ourselves onto the mission. Oh, you know what? I did forget a couple things here. That's fine. We can do them now. So we're going to go in here to the data link. Sequence. And there was another flight in front of... Whoops. That's, um, no, I don't like that. Go up. I right, hit enter. Go back up. It's one one. Oh, that's not gonna let me do it now. It's giving me a fault. Logo one two taxi. Right, one can one I clear this? Nine. Let me put this as like three one, and then we'll just. I like to keep things in order. There we go. Because there was a seed group that's supposed to be ahead of us, as well. <clears throat> Tower wind check. Serpent, three, one, two knots. Okay. Approach, one, one, I also zero, need to see what I was. Alright. Serpent. And our takeoff time is 818. So we're roughly about 10 minutes from. I'm going to about 7 minutes till I will call for takeoff. Or at least for taxi, not takeoff. I guess it's calling for uh, takeoff as well. <laughs> So let's go ahead and speed up time just a tad. Cal 
Cowboy, 1-2, descend to 4,000, maintain 250 knots, turn left heading 205, runway 09er. Panther, 3-1, Osan Tower, cleared for departure. Cowboy, 1-1, Alright, let's roll now. Tower quest taxi. Position and hold. I guess we're not cleared yet. I said. No, just kidding. Good morning, Panther. One Osan approach, runway zero niner. Maybe Panther, one more minute. Maintain two five zero knots. Turn right, heading one eight five, runway zero niner. Tower request taxi. Cowboy one two, descend to four thousand. Turn right, heading. Position and hold. I got this on the uh, Israeli campaign one time. I just went and Serpent, parked at the runway. Tower chocks. Tower takeoff runway. Oh nine. So we're on the other end, end of the runway today. So yeah, awfully cloudy today from the looks of it. Whoa, hello. Let's start doing that. Cowboy, one two, descend to three thousand, maintain two five zero. Oh, those guys aren't supposed to go in front of me. <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. Cowboy, one one, turn left to final. All right, um, let's see here. That's the back, so probably this way and then that. I can't remember how to. I don't remember the directions. Or the uh, taxiways to the no, because the that would be back this time around. I am backwards. That's fine. They all lead to they all lead to the right place. We should have went to the left though. That's okay. That's okay. I just I haven't I haven't taken off from this side of the runway in a while. I don't remember. That'd be due to the weather, of course. So two would be taking the correct Panther, way to three, one, nine. I did not. Panther, three, two, hold short. Does that mean stop now? I'm going to go to the taxiway. I'll hold short you. Don't make me late. ATC has been a little, little bit on the um. Cowboy, one, two, turn left to final approach. Course. Bad side. Three, two, Shall I say, um, as far as takeoff times, I have been getting a lot of late takeoff times. And I've had to run and use a lot more fuel than what I would like to use. I guess that's why they dump you with drop tanks. <laughs> uh, I really shouldn't complain. I get 1,200 pounds of fuel, so. Look, I'll even stop right here just in case. Logo, one, two, hold short. Oh, she's just telling everybody to hold short. Hey, we got a taxi way line up here. If one of them Korean bombers decided to come rolling in here and our Patriot missiles were out of action, OMG, everybody would be dead. Come on, you guys got to speed it up. Speed up your takeoffs. Look at that! That guy rolled out into the the Lobo, the one, um airfield, causing that guy Lobo, to turn around. Two, <laughs> oh, it's a madhouse! This is why we have problems with the uh, ATC. Oh, <laughs> I see. And now he's stuck there, and he's not going to move. Because that guy's, these two are in the way, and, yeah, these two, uh, these, well, these three are in the way, now. Come on, guys. I'll speed up time, I'm going to speed up time a little bit, just to see if they can un-F themselves. Maintain two three zero knots, turn left heading zero eight five. 
All right, there they go. Sumats. So you guys better clear this freaking runway in two minutes. Oh, what the? Where'd they go? Well, I think I might have... <laughs> I think I have another suggestion for my, uh... Another possibility for my, um... Title for the video is... I was gonna call it Cheap Bombs, but if uh, these guys disappear as well, I'm gonna call it the Bermuded Osa. Osa on the Bermuded Triangle or whatever. Something like that. Well, these guys look like they're doing fine. I wonder if it just threw the other two in the air. Huh. And look at this! This is- I'm surprised by this. They loaded- they, um... They lined up with each other. They- I usually never see this with the AI. Well, at least they never do it with me. Oh, well, he could have went at the same time, too. Hmm. Angel, 3-1, inbound for landing. Angel, 3-1... Ah, this one will probably just be called cheap bombs. <laughs> Anyways. Angel, 3-1, maintain 280 knots. I'm waiting for clearance for takeoff. Serpent, Thank you. You are cleared for takeoff. Runway zero nine. Cowboy, I'm also gonna go ahead. To I got clearance, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut her up because I don't want to hear her anymore. I got my clearance. That's all I need. All right. Settle on up here. Boop. Turn those wheels straight off. Idle up. And roll. Start rolling. And afterburners. And once we hit 170 or 160, rotate. Got yelled out there. Rotated a little too soon, I guess. Up we go. Where we stop? Nobody knows. Alrighty then, we are up in the air. It's time to turn on to uh, follow our waypoints, get on target, and uh, drop these bombs. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video here, and I'll join you all when we get close to the target, as well as if anything else happens, like we get jumped on by any enemy aircraft. But until then, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back everyone. As you can see, uh, well, might be hard to see with the cloud cover here. Um, cloud cover is at 11,000 feet. Uh, 10, 10 to 11 was about where we broke through the cloud layer, the bottom layer. Um, we were 58 uh, nautical miles from our steer point, which is more than enough range for STBs. Um, they do have a 60 nautical mile range. Oh my, what is this? Um, is anyone gonna... Was that you? Sue, did you lock that up? Sentry declare. Oh, no, nope. never mind. I locked. I lost that lock. That one's got me a little concerned though. Um, well, let's check though. Let's go to our uh, bombs here. Uh, oh, it says we're not in range yet, so we're gonna hold off on that a little bit. Um, but I am concerned that two's got himself one locked up here. What is this? What is this? And I want to lock up to it. Two weapons free. Two, Wilco. You gonna knock that guy out? 
I don't know what these are. Sentry declare. <sighs> really? Sentry declare. Sentry declare. Sentry declare. SU-25. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about an SU-25. Sentry declare. Bring me. Look at that guy that just went under us. Um, two's not hitting him, so I, I'm gonna suspect that he's not in our area, or at least not on top of us. Um, we are entering into the danger zone now. We're crossing the flot into enemy territory as well as getting into some SAM sites. Some SA-2 sites, triple A. Triple A is going to be the problem. I think the SA-2 is probably down. Um, I heard some magnums going off at the other flight in front of us. Um, let's check our STB, uh, SDBs. They are getting into range now to rejoin. We're starting to get in the range now. This shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm probably not going to launch at max range. Probably. <laughs> I am going to turn my jammer on. Two, music on. Let's pick up our speed again. We need to get up 300 knots. Alright, we are in launch range. So I'm going to take the first eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To attack my target. So there's that. So let's get back here. I know I've got AAA bouncing around me. So let's go ahead and start launching these puppies. So first one off, 14. One. Bruiser. These guys are all spread out. Bruiser. 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 <laughs> guys lay out in the shift back and forth here. Bruiser. Bruiser. Two weapons free. Two weapons free. I'm gonna come off. Two attack my target. Once I get a bruiser, I'm gonna tell him to attack this target. And then the other eight. Or six or whatever. I guess six because he launched two already. Sentry declare. Box three long. Loser. Two. Python three, Dallas two, be advised. Red aircraft bearing three one. To attack my target. Four miles, four thousand. Two, will come. I just lost the lock on that one. That was because I needed to tell two to shoot at something. Sentry declare. Seven, three, one, Dallas, two, contact is outlawed. I'm going to go ahead and launch this one. Box three, long. Keep him locked up this time. Get off of that real quick. I see smoke. I had the first one hit him, so I didn't need to do the other one. Alright. 
Another MiG-23 just popped up. Would have been nice to have had that, uh, <laughs> that second, uh, <laughs> in 120. Two. To attack my target. Two. We'll call. I wish there was a way to tell him, attack this target, this target, this target, this target, all at once. Instead of having to constantly keep him, keep, uh, switching targets here. Sentry declare. J5, that's not my MiG-23. MiG-23 has got to be close, and I can't see because of this stupid cloud cover. He's off my nose, I know that much. To attack my target. Sentry declare. Right, that's my buddy. May 21 is now coming in. Let's find two real quick. Where is he? He's right there. Two weapons free. Sentry declare. There's my MiG-21. Frickin' other MiG-21 shooting at me. Box two. Shoot, I think that was off. I think that was a little too close. That was. It's way too close. No, it wasn't. That was perfect. I over G'd my aircraft because these drop tanks, but I don't give a frack. Warning, warning. Oh, shit. Warning, warning. Ah, come on. Oh, that's why I don't have a wing. Punching. Oops, wrong buttons. Punching. Ah. <laughs> Oh, so close to an airfield. Probably should have just launched and went back. Oh, uh, SDBs are hard to use with AI with other AI players because you just can't coordinate well enough. Anyways, there's that flight. Let's end it and go back to the campaign screen. I'll see you then. All right, welcome back, and we are in my A. So is two boo, and we've got. Oh wow, seven misses, one hit. Interesting. Average success. Mission was a success though, so that was something. Um, let's see, they were down by an SA2. I was down by a MiG-23. Okay, uh, no wait. No, I downed it a MiG-23. <laughs> I was like, I'm down by a MiG-23. Okay, I see what happened. AA2D was launched at me. I think that's probably what hit me. No. Now, AA-7, what was AA-7 launched from? That would be an interesting question to find out. Um, so yeah, we got hit by another aircraft. Probably the, there was, what was there's MiG-23s and MiG-21s around. So either one of those two probably ended up getting us. Um, we did down a, uh, we did down one aircraft ourselves. Okay, that AIM-9X did miss. Um, the MiG-23 though with the, the 125, yeah, that first one hit and then that second one had no target to hit. Uh, SDB wise, we launched a bunch and we didn't hit anything. We hit a runway in a uh, Mouser, whatever that is. I'll have to look what that is. 
12% damage. What? Uh, let's see here. What did he hit? Runway, fence, fence. And then a truck or an AA gun. So then what happened to the targets then? Let's click here and find out. Status. Nope, they're still there. Did my... Ugh. It's been doing this lately. I don't know why. I've had I had all these targets marked, but for some reason our targets ended up being something else. They locked onto something else from the looks of it. All right, according to up. the briefing screen there. Uh, anyways, oh well. Off on to the next one. We'll just have to do that next time. Make sure we. Whoops. Let's just delete these and get these out of the way. There we go. Anyway, so we'll just have to uh, make sure we got a little bit of a better operation on that that one. Anyways, I'm saying anyways way too much. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like and ding that little bell. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you want to get your uh, want to make sure you're keeping up to date with uh, new releases, you got to hit that bell because uh, Google decided to make it very difficult. Should just be you should just have to subscribe and it shows and there's no point in hitting the bell anyways uh and as always if you're new here don't forget to follow or subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all next time take care bye bye